Hey, welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl, Tanya D. Floyd. I know I don't look like it, but I'm in this kitchen. I just came back from dropping the boy off. He missed the bus again. Um, I need to clean my glasses because it looks a little cloudy to me today. But anyway, woo child, I was just talking to my handyman friend and um, it was brief, but it was so insightful and that's why we talk as much as we do. Because we both get something from it. And today, <clears throat> excuse me, today the message was, my God, the price of ambition is, <clears throat> excuse me, mm, internal turmoil mixed with a little dose of disappointment with a large heaping helping of <laughs> self-loathing at times. Let me explain. Um, I have realized, I woke up yesterday, actually, clear as day. <clears throat> what is going on with me today? Woke up clear as day. I think I'm catching the baby's cooties. I've been hugging and kissing all on him because he don't feel good this week. Um, but yeah, so, oh my God. I, I woke up and I knew without a doubt that I had to go back and do some work that I did not wish to do ever again in life. But it... I need something that fits with a very specific schedule. I need something I can control. And I need something that pays me a good wage. So, I got to go back and, and do some gigs that I thought I had left behind. But, um, yeah, that's what I was just saying ambition. Like, I was rolling around in my head and I've been like, trying to sleep at night but I keep having these hot cold sweats because Minerva but then again I keep waking up in between dreams like some real life stuff is happening it's a dream it's bad um I keep seeing myself in places I don't want to be doing things I don't want to do like suffering like you know needing money and I keep waking up, but it's it's all about an internal struggle I'm going through because I don't want to do this thing that I know I need to do to make this money. But um, I'm going to suck that up and just do it because I can. And because it's like there's no weight. I get paid right now when I do what I got to do. <sighs> so anyway, the price of ambition. Um, we were just talking for a brief moment about how, you know, he's in a job that he chose because it's going to help him get to his next level. And you know how I come on here all the time and talk about I don't have no pay stub, I don't have no W-2. So I took this this <coughs> this job back on so that I can have documentation, consistent documentation of an income that um I don't have to wait for the tax year and I don't have to try to negotiate between whether I'm going to deduct this thing that I should and can deduct or whether I'm going to make it look like I'm actually making more money because I'm not deducting everything. That's small business, I'm trying to tell you. <coughs> but yeah, you have to walk a thin line sometimes between whether I want to show all the money I made as, you know, money that I use for expenses or if I want to use all the money that I made as all the money that I made. It's, you can adjust it because you're in charge of that kind of stuff when you're self-employed, but no matter which way you go, it's always going to be some crap, you know? So, um, yeah, he got to get a W-2 or a pay statement, and so do I. So we're going to do some things we don't want to do. But it's the, the one big part about why it's so awful is because the people that you're surrounded by who are so content in their day-to-day in their salary, in their complaining about the salary in the day-to-day. -day. You know what I'm saying? They go to work every day and they mad. But they don't ever want to stop being mad at that and go do something different because the risk, because the um, the struggle. You're going to have a struggle as a self-employed person. I don't know an entrepreneur who hasn't struggled at some point. Um guy I really respect once told me, when before I started any business, he said to me, you know, count the pennies and save up for a rainy day because it will rain. <laughs> he ain't never lied. <laughs> but, you know, even those little teeny small things that don't seem to matter, put it all down, write it all up, you know, get it, get it 
on paper and, and track every single thing that comes in and goes out, every invoice. How late is it? You know, you got to really get into the details with that accounting stuff because, you know, it matters at some point, even if you don't realize it. But, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a lot. And, again, about the people. Like, what if you meet the one? What if you have had the one and you know your life is in a good groove but you want to step out and do this thing for yourself and they go nah that's too risky babe i don't think you should do that because we good we in a good place and they still the ones that's in that rat race you know running in the machine i hate the job i hate the this that and the other but i'm stacking my coins up because in five years i can retire and i'm gonna get a a $1,200 pension every month. <laughs> I'm being ridiculous about the 1200 but, you know, what if they, like, lack that ambition that you have and they don't respect that you have it and you got to do what you got to do because it's so deeply ingrained in you. It's, it's who you are. You can't just put it down and go back to the 9 to 5 you think I'm worth $60,000 a year and I'm going to take that. You can't, you cannot do that. But that's what they're asking you to do. To, you know, what happens to your relationship in a situation like that? Like, gee whiz. That's the kind of stuff you deal with sometimes when you're self-employed and you come across the people who are so just not like you and who are not willing to risk the things you're willing to risk. It's it's tough out here. I I'm going to keep saying that. It's tough out here. I know this guy. <laughs> he said to me. Uh, I'm pretty much happy just collecting my check every Wednesday. I haven't checked back with him to see if that's how he still feels. But. Oh God. That just destroyed every hope I ever had of being with him. I ain't that girl. And I can't respect that guy. Not to the point where I'm going to let him be my leader or my partner. I can't with that. So, yeah, it, it affects your relationships in more ways than one. When you go out here and step out and try to be all ambitious. The cost of ambition is high. <laughs> it's real high. But... What's the alternative? Um, you push through it. Um, you, you know that reel, the TikTok. You've seen it. You've heard it. It says, um, I didn't want to work a nine to five anymore. So I started my own business. Now I work 24 seven. What the? <laughs> it's like that, but... <sighs> It is so rewarding. You're going to go through pockets of crap. You're going to go through maybe weeks, maybe months, maybe years of, whoo, I don't know if I got any more left in the tank, but I'm going to keep it moving. It's But that, mm, how do I explain it? I'm not going to say it's, um, I'm not going to be cliche. I'm not going to tell you it's worth it in the end. I'm going to tell you that if you're the kind of person that I'm talking about, you understand that moments make the journey that much more fulfilling. Doesn't matter what kind of moments they are, but it's like, you know, the saying, if you, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. I um, used to be like, that's dumb. Don't nobody want to feel like that. But, oh, my God, it's so like that. It's, it's better to have felt all the things than to never have felt anything at all outside of the norm, the basic, the baseline. You know, it's, it's, this ride is like, people get on roller coasters all the time for the thrill. This is a roller coaster ride. 
This is better than any theme park ride. The adrenaline rush you get when you accomplishing that thing that you set out to do, when you putting your stamp on something that you are proud of, when you give that customer their keys back or their room back, or you walk out and say, this is your last payment, go on and have a lovely time in your new space. When you put the project to rest and you have given it, all you got blood, sweat, and tears literally to show for it. Ain't no ride like that. Ain't no ride like that. Ooh, every design show you ever watch on TV, go watch one. Watch a series of them, like just a few so you can see. It's like all bad in the beginning because they uncovering this and uncovering that and the customers are all crying and oh my God, I didn't know and it cost so much more than we thought and da, 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 da. And then you get to the middle part and you like, you know, they see the framing up and it's like, oh, I can see the vision now. I see the, what you were talking about, the separation. I get it. I get it. There's so much room in this kitchen, you know, that whole thing and they starting to feel the momentum and then when you put them out and they come back and it's like, oh my God, and they always say, is this the same house? They couldn't see what you saw. They couldn't understand what you were trying to tell them because they, they just don't have the capacity. That's why you do what you do and you get paid for doing it. But my God, that ride, whoo, baby. Mm. It is so amazing. It's so worth it. I feel so alive, even though I'm about to go do some crap I thought I would never have to do again. I'm like, that's when I was broke. Well, newsflash, Floyd, you broke. Okay? Go do it. Just shut up about it. And just collect your coins. I'm not talking about going back to the IRS, though. Don't get it twisted. I ain't that far down. But they wouldn't want me no way. They ain't going to have me. The people in HR or any agency, they um pretty much determine who's going to be there. Not based on the documents or the qualifications. Based on who they think they can uh, work with and who they can control. That's what I'm standing by that. They, they don't choose you based on your qualifications. They look at that, but they want to see, you know, how you did the thing and whether you're compliant enough for them to let you into that agency where they run things, HR. Mm -hmm. That's them. It ain't the management that run things. It's the HR that runs things. So, so there you go. Um, and God help you if you're applying for an HR job. They ain't letting you in. Forget about it. They can need all the help in the world, but they ain't letting you in. That's that's some tight closed ranks right there, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm about to go eat my breakfast, but... Ooh. Mm. Again, I woke up feeling delusional. Something good's going to happen somewhere. Maybe it was just that little conversation. Maybe it's just a little spark that somebody's going to get from this video. I don't know, but... Have a great day. Have a productive day. Stay up. It's going to be all right.